Hello everyone, welcome back to another stream. So guys, uh, today we are going to model this uh, again in 3ds Max. So Rack, hi, welcome to the stream. Kefka, hi, welcome to the stream. And you guys can download this uh, uh, reference image from our Discord, link is in the description. If you want, you can download from there. And we will model this in 3 Max. So let's do this. I'm gonna move this to the side. And we will start with this model. Okay, I have already set up this uh, image here. Set a material. Actually, we can add this reference image in the diffuse. And we can apply it to a plane. Okay. I'm going to right click and check this freeze and uncheck this frozen in gray okay and press ok now we'll go to the front and we can start with this part i mean this barrel so i'm gonna create a cylinder here And we need to rotate this so I'll type 45 degree angle and we can rotate and I'm gonna move it all the way here. here. And reduce the radius so it will match with our reference. And actually we don't need this height segments we can remove all this and increase the height okay okay then we convert this to editable poly and we need to apply material actually i'm gonna apply this and okay so this is cylinder i think we should put here So I'm going to press uh, all text to see through the mesh. Uh, it, I think I need to change some settings. Okay. Not here, maybe customize, use some size. Reference uh, and the viewport, I think. Uh, uncheck these two. Okay. okay now I'm going to duplicate this. Okay, we can detail once we finish the basic model. This, uh, I'm gonna duplicate this one. Okay, we should duplicate. Yes. Duplicate. Hold on, shift and duplicate. Ok, 
okay and we need to reduce the length up here like this so the radius will be to change okay I'm going to move this down and go to sorry we need to connect these two vertex And here we need to select these and connect these two again. And I'm gonna extrude this bar only only this part to the front. Okay, we can reduce the length value. Okay. And I'm gonna add one segment. And here, you guys can see, right? Like this, and I'm going to delete all this. Okay. And this will do. Maybe you should move this little bit to the top. I don't know. Okay, wait. I'm gonna select all these faces and we need to delete this one actually. Okay. Now we can connect these two again. And we'll extrude this one. You can just type one and the center. This. So this is it. I think this. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this shape one more time. Or we can just insert this face. Uh, extrude it. Okay, need this. Okay, I think we need to uh, duplicate this cylinder um, last time for here. We can do that later actually. But now we will continue to this part, okay. Now I'll just save a copy. Okay, maybe we can create a different shape. Or maybe I'm gonna decide on so a couple of segments. 
I think we need only one. Okay, and then I'm gonna add one more. Okay, now we need to select this part. and extrude down uh, move it all the way here and we need to align this uh, plus make panel okay we need to We need to insert before we extrude, right? This is good. Large, I think. Okay. Again, we need to add a couple of segments. Right on here. Another one here. Okay. We need to adjust the shape. Do not if I this here and we can send for this part, right? Okay, that's fine. You know, I can continue this area. I just want things. Maybe we should move this to this corner. Okay, now we need to select these three faces and insert and extrude top. Okay, okay, we do it. Uh, we need to add one more segment here. Okay. 
then okay and we'll remove this and I think we need to align this. Okay, now we need to insert again and extrude top. Hey, what if I extrude it with uh, sorry, without incentive? Okay, first we'll align these two sides into this corner, then we can add, add segments in the center. Okay, I'm gonna add one in the center here, one here. Okay, and Align it to the reference means okay. Maybe you should uh, reduce the size. Okay, I'm going to add one more segment in here and select all these faces. I mean, these faces, and we can turn it, isolate this. Now I want to reduce the size from the sides. Okay. I think we need to move it. Okay, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check the shape. It's all fine, I think. Okay. Now we can continue. Let's continue to model this area. I mean the grip and everything. Okay, so I'm going to add one segment in here, maybe two 
sorry one here and I'm gonna select these three faces then we'll extrude it down first then we can change the shape You can change for this part later, but I'm gonna sorry now I'm gonna finish this area. I mean this trigger part. Okay. I'm gonna add a couple of segments again like here. Then okay, we need to insert this. Uh, X okay. I think we need to add one more segment here. this okay now we're gonna continue to extrude Okay, Sanchar, hi, can stream. Now we can actually bridge uh, this one. Okay, wait. And add one more segment here. Now it will be fine. Yep. Okay, add these three segments here.
and we need to do one more thing Let's change the okay we need to change the size actually for this sugar so let me just select all these faces we created and just move to inside and if you want you can draw the selection continue to move inside okay we can add a symmetry modifier later so it will match the opposite side so i'm gonna do the same move this edge inside okay we can try the symmetry modifier in x direction We think we can save for this handle. Delete this until for now. I'm going to save a copy. And we will change for this. So I think we need to change for these two sides. So just select these two. I need to isolate this. I'm going to select. Uh, now we can simple this. Maybe you should select this edge. And if we same for, I think we need to detach this part before we do that. I'm going to try. Okay, so we should detach this area. Okay. Select all this um, and we will detach this. Detach it and isolate this again. We need to close this. Right, yes, I'm gonna close this part and remove these edges. I think we don't need them, yes, we don't need these two edges. Okay, control and backspace. Now I'm going to select these edges again and let's check for this. Okay, maybe we should change the mode. I think this will do. Maybe we need to adjust these areas as well. Yes. Okay. 
Or we should just uh, detach this one into a separate mesh, then chamfer. Right. That we can do. Maybe I will try. Okay, or we can just keep this up. Okay, we'll this one and clean the mesh. Or we can just uh, detach this grip and sample this one separately. It will be easy. We don't need to readjust all these vertex. Okay, same here. I want to just clean this area. Maybe you should connect these two. And move this at the top. Right. Okay, I think it's fine. Uh, 
I'm gonna save a copy then what if I let us simply modify Okay, we keep like this and now the symmetry modifier and check the aura look. Okay, we just need to clear this idea. I think it's fine. Okay. So I'm gonna just select this. Okay, Velix, sir. Velix, so high, interesting. Okay, you can just select these Velix and Okay, now it did. Now we need to go back a little bit. Okay, you can cut one line here. Maybe you should cut a few more. Okay, it's, it's a live video, bro. Jim Shit's higher color stream. Okay, now fire. That's Today you should change for this, sorry, this side as well. Maybe we can do that later. Now I'm gonna just go back, text, and we can move to the top. Okay, you can actually export from this one. I'll just say a copy. Uh, I'm gonna delete this security for now and uh, select few segments. Sorry, faces from the top. Okay, so we can extrude it. It uh, should be in the sand. Ok, 
Okay. Up the front. Now we can export this part. To the top. So just Okay, we just extend the sun. Yeah, fast. Okay, there is a small gap between this. So, this place here, then we will make this planner and I want to start again. All the way to the top. Okay. okay. And we need to extrude this side to the front. So Okay, I'm gonna export it here. Then we need to isolate this mesh and select these two edges. We need to change for this part. Well, yes, we need to change for it. It can be this I don't know. I think we should um, remove these edges before we change it. Okay, just clean this area so we can. a little bit more easily okay I'm gonna select this edge and okay I'm gonna try this symmetry one more time Okay, wait. I'm gonna remove this. Okay, we need to do the sorry, do this on the both sides. Okay, now select these two edges and okay, and I'm gonna remove one segment, sorry, one edge.
actually we should extrude this bar a little bit to the inside okay Hello. Yes, can you hear me? Hello. Okay, okay. Sorry for that. My network just. Okay, now we can continue to this part and let's press control X and we will move this to the front. I'm gonna add a couple of segments. Okay, and uh, we should delete this, or we should. I think we should extrude it down. Like this. I think say a small gap, right? Maybe you should. Okay, and we need to detach this part. This is actually, I mean, this shape is actually a cylindric one, so I'm gonna just okay, draw the selection and we need to detach it. Okay. I'm going to add a symmetry modifier on this. In y direction. Okay. Like this. Okay, then collapse on. Maybe we should change the shape. Okay, I think guys, my network Okay Okay, wait, I'm gonna just uh, relate this part This. 
post this and insert this. Maybe we'll insert this face and we need to insert the face for this. Okay. No need to insert actually. Actually, we need to insert this part into it. And give it here. Now I'm going to remove this edge. Actually, this should be a cylindrical shape. You can just create a separate mesh for this. Okay, now we get model this part. I'm going to just select these three. These, sorry, these three faces. And uh, insert then scroll down and here and we should add a couple of segments on here. Okay, I think it's enough. Right. Bro, tell about unwrapping. Okay, bro, I'll try to. Once we finish the model, we'll try to unwrap the UV in a different stream or something. Okay. Okay, this is a vertical grip. You just know that, right? I'm gonna just save a copy and we will just create a new cylinder for this one. Okay, and it is the size. It's the size. And convert this to table poly. And I'm gonna select all these vertex and change the size here. Maya, 
it, so... Evil see Hank, sorry, Evil see Gaming High of the Stream. No. Yeah, ten was older. Maybe you should add one more segment. Okay. okay, once we finish the shape, I mean the basic shape, we can start creating the, so, so, Start adding the details. Okay, I'm gonna create this trigger part right here. Uh, we need to select all these faces. Okay, maybe you should maybe you should extra this one to also like this. Yes, I think there is this uh, there is some network problem. Okay, it's fine. Okay, I'm going to add one second in here. Did it say there? Yes, I don't know why network actually has this problem. It's actually maybe you should stop the stream. I don't know. Please hold on, I think we have this little problem. So let me check. Okay. 
Okay.